Hello everyone.、Uh, I am Yuichi Nakamura、uh, from Hitachi.、Uh, today I'd like to、uh, talk about high level API security by Keycloak.、Uh, at first, let me introduce myself.、Uh, I belong to Hitachi and I'm leading OSS engineer team.、Uh, more than 10 years ago, about 20 years ago,、um, I was contributing SE Linux and I developed SE Linux for、uh, consumer electronics devices and、uh, developed、uh, SE Linux OSS tool. And I presented at various、um, conferences and wrote many papers and books about SE Linux.、Uh, recently, <coughs> um, Uh, uh, I am、uh, engaged with、uh, OSS API manage management solution.、Um, uh, I, I, uh, I developed API management solution using OSS,、uh, especially、uh, I, we are heavily using Keycloak,、um, uh, identity and access management software, and we are providing、uh, consultation about API security and API management. And I also developed、uh, OSS contributors. I developed a、uh, maintainer of Keycloak、uh, recently.、Uh, as a life work,、uh, I'm hosting Secure OSS Shield in Japan、uh, called OSS Security Gijutsu no Kai in Japanese.、Uh, it is an engineer's community、uh, who are interested in、uh, OSS security technologies.、Uh, we hold some meetups. Uh, unfortunately, it is virtual,、uh, but I hope、uh, I'd like to uh, hold uh, uh, on site a、uh, meetup、uh, in the near future. Okay, uh, let's start.、Uh, this is an、uh, agenda. At first,、uh, I'll explain、uh, financial grade API called FAPI. And API security profile、uh, as a background. As a background.、And、this slide shows、uh, what is API.、Uh, API is an interface、uh, for digital services. And usually,、uh, it is a RESTful API.、Um, uh, APIs are、uh, opened、uh, in various sectors. Uh, for example, uh, financial sector,、uh, open API is、um, being enforced or strongly recommended by law in many、uh, regions. In public sectors, <coughs> government, uh, uh, government, uh, government is, uh, uh, governments are opening API、uh, to many third parties. In industry sector,、uh, APIs Uh, now, uh, essential part of their de digital transformation.、Uh, moreover, A API, is, API economy is、uh, created among、uh, different sectors,、um, different sectors in different parties. Security、uh, must be considered、uh, for APIs、uh, because APIs are open to the internet.、Uh, as a first step of、uh, <coughs> security,、uh, authorization is necessary.、Uh, for authorization, OAuth 2.0 is a de facto standard and it is very widely used in, to secure APIs.、Uh, this figure shows、uh, APIs how to secure API by OS 2.0. And this, in this example, a bank is、uh, opening API to third party fintech services. services.、Uh, in this example, it is a、uh, household account book client application.、Uh, at first, uh, users, uh, user of this、uh, client application,、um, access to the authorization server. Uh, this、uh, in bank.、Um, credential information s are held in, in, this,、uh, in this bank, and the user and client, user and client applications are, are authenticated.、Uh, after authentication,、uh, this authorization server issues access token. 
And this access token、uh, is a proof、uh, that the holder of this access token can access the、uh, user's resource. And then this client application calls the API、uh, with this access token.、Uh, resource server verifies the access token, and、uh, after it is verified,、um, resource server returns the、uh, re uh, information about this user to the client application.、Uh, here, um, unlike the web scraping, Uh, ID and password are not kept in this、uh, client application.、Uh, this is very convenient and secure. So it is、uh, widely used. o s 2 0 is、uh, widely used、uh, in many industries. However,、uh, o s 2 0、uh, defines、uh, only a framework. It is a framework.、Um, many、um, implementers can. Uh, ha have a lot of freedom、uh, to implement. So there are many insecure implementations.、Uh, for example,、um, uh, there may <coughs> include some security holes, such as uh, uh, to allow、uh, replay attack or CSRF、uh, or session hijack.、Um, if attackers use、uh, the security hole,、um, The access token may leak to the attacker, and the attacker can、uh, call the uh, user's uh, call API as a user, and,、uh, and the attacker can,、uh, uh, can steal information of the user.、Um, uh, this is a big problem、uh, because APIs are used in many uh, uh, in, uh, industries uh, where. Um, sensitive information is uh, handled, uh, such as bank and、uh, government. So, high level API security uh, is uh, required now. Um, for high, high level API security,、uh, a specification called PAPI,、um, uh, this is a security profile,、uh, is getting atten attention、uh, globally. Uh, FAPI is a security profile、uh, describing secure usage of OSP2.0.、Uh, um, there is OSP2.0.、Uh, on, on top of uh, OSP2.0, uh, OpenID Connect or IDC is defined.、Uh, this introduces some secure usage of OSP2.0 for authentication.、Um, IDC introduces、uh, additional information.、Um, Called ID token for authentication. However,、uh, improper, improper implementation、um, for API authentication still are not restricted.、Um, on top of、uh, them,、um, FAPI, uh, FAPI exists. Uh, FAPI exi uh, defines uh, secure usage of OS, OS 2.0 and YDC、uh, across the protocol flow. Uh, this uh, figure uh, shows the overview of FAPI.、Uh, FAPI is a security profile of OS 2.0 uh, specified by OpenID Foundation.、Uh, it was uh, originally uh, intended, intended for uh, security profile for financial sector,、um, but it is now specified as a、uh, security best practice of OS 2.0 and YDC、uh, for API authorization. And、uh, it is best practice for industries where high level security is required.、Uh, the main feature is、uh, across the protocol authorization,、uh, a process of authorization in OS 2.0 and YDC, a requirement to achieve high security,、um, high security is specified、uh, for client application, authorization server, and resource servers. Uh, FAPI、um, current version is 1.0.、Uh, it was published from、uh, OpenID Foundation on 2021. And many organizations、uh, began to、uh, comply with FAPI 1.0.、Um, 
currently uh, usage of FAPI is mandated, mandated or recommended for financial sectors across the world. Uh, for example, open banking uh, in UK, uh, there is open banking, uh, also uh, open banking in Brazil, and consumer data right Australia. Uh, they are, uh, yeah, uh, usage of uh, FAPI is uh, required for some uh, transaction of banks. Um, in Japan, Japanese Open API, uh, Open API um, usage of FAPI is uh, now recommended. Uh, this figure shows the uh, requirements uh, specified by FAPI uh, ac across the protocol stack. Uh, FAPI defines uh, a lot of requirements, um, usage of some um, some additional specifications and uh, usage of uh, strong uh, signature and crypto algorithms uh, and so on. A lot of it is uh, uh, required for FAPI. Uh, let's see the sequence uh, to call API using FAPI. Um, there is a, a browser a user and client, virtualization server, and resource server. And this flow uh, itself is uh, almost the same as uh, uh, standard OS 2.0 flow uh, called authorization code flow of OS 2.0. And the difference is uh, security checks uh, uh, across the uh, request and res response. Uh, in request, in every request, uh, authorization server checks uh, the authorization request is not tampered, uh, tampered. and the uh, legitimate client uh, generated the uh, request. Also, a client uh, checks uh, the response is not tampered and the legitimate server generated the response. And to, to call API, uh, FAPI, uh, check in FAPI, uh, resource server checks the uh, sender of the token is a client uh, uh, who received the token in the token request. Um, this is a... Uh, um, uh, security checks uh, specified in FAPI among, uh, among uh, steps. Uh, many additional parameters, uh, such as uh, state and none, um, are used, um, uh, are used uh, to prevent session hijack. Um, they prove that the, um, each HTTP request and response uh, belongs to uh, one logical session. Uh, this is an example of security enhancement, uh, enhanced use case of FAPI. Uh, in OS 2.0, an access token is usually VRA token. Uh, VRA token means that the everyone uh, holding a token can, uh, can use the token. Uh, so if the access token is uh, stolen uh, by attacker, uh, this attacker can use the token and uh, can call the API as, uh, as this user and steal the uh, sensitive uh, information. Uh, this is uh, how to prevent that uh, in FAPI. Uh, in FAPI, a mechanism to detect the theft of access token uh, in resource server is uh, specified. Um, access token is bounded to the clients uh, by the client certificate, uh, like this. Uh, in token request, uh, client certificate uh, is submitted to uh, authorization server uh, in the mutual TLS session. Uh, when client is authenticated, the hash value of the client certificate is bounded to the access token and uh, 
and saved uh, in resource server. And uh, when an um, API is called, um, client um, call API with access token and with the client certificate. And resource server uh, compares the stored hash value with the hash value of the uh, client certificate of this API call session and compares the uh, hash value. Uh, if the hash value is di uh, different, the uh, API call is blocked. And by this process, the resource server can validate the access token is from the uh, legitimate client. Uh, for example, malicious, uh, if malicious client, uh, attacker client, attacker uh, steals the access token and calls the uh, um, API with access token. Uh, this resource server checks the uh, uh, client certificate and calculates the hash value. However, um, the uh, check uh, fails uh, because the uh, um, client certificate and um, attacker does, uh, doesn't have client certificate of uh, the client. Uh, there are uh, also various uh, security profiles uh, related to Puppy. Uh, they are not uh, stable uh, and often updated. And conformance test and certification program are provided from OpenIT Foundation um, to facilitate to prove the compliance to the uh, security profile. So it is very important to pass the conformance test from OpenID Foundation. And in FAPI 1.0 family, and uh, this is specified by OpenID Foundation, there are four types of specifications, baseline, advanced, jam, and FAPI Shiba. Uh, also, uh, there are security profiles based on FAPI and specified uh, organizations in various countries. Uh, in UK Open Banking, uh, there are such profiles. Uh, in Australia, uh, uh, CDR, uh, there is a security profile based on FAPI. And uh, in Brazil, Open Banking Brazil defines uh, these profiles. Also, there are conformance tests are pr prepared uh, for uh, these profiles uh, from uh, OpenID Foundation. Okay, let's move to the key clock and the API security profile. Uh, perhaps uh, this figure shows a very brief introduction of key clock. Uh, key clock, oh, misspelling. <laughs> uh, key clock is an open source implementation of identity and access management uh, called IAM. Uh, it has a feature uh, for social login uh, called the identity brokering feature. And also, uh, Keycrook can man manage uh, identity uh, from in, in various identity source, LDAP and, uh, um, LDAP and uh, um, Active Directory and custom uh, directory server using RDB. Also, Keycrook has an identity federation feature using standard protocol uh, YDC, uh, using YDC and OS 2.0 and SAML. Uh, this uh, figure shows uh, three um, use case, use, uh, main use cases of Keycrook. Uh, first use case is single sign on. Um, Web application can delegate or um, uh, redirect the authentication uh, screen to Keycrook. Um, by using this feature, uh, single sign-on can be achieved. Um, when user um, log in to web application A by Keycrook, uh, next time um, when user, uh, user log in to web application B, uh, web application B redirect to uh, authentication to Keycrook, and if there is authentication session, no login screen is 
log login screen is not shown, and the user don't have to uh, input uh, username and password again. Uh, this is single sign-on. Uh, second use case is API authorization with uh, OS 2.0. Uh, this is today's main topic. And the third one is uh, authentication with external data and system. Uh, Keycloak uh, use can use um, can <coughs> can use uh, various ID source for login, and also Keycloak can uh, also Keycloak can uh, block a login to social sites. Uh, Keycloak has very rich feature, so and Keycloak. Uh, are now used in many important systems, uh, such as bank and government. Uh, as an authorization server, um, <coughs> Keycloak can conform to various security profiles uh, related to Happy. Uh, Hitachi is leading development of <coughs> Of features for conformance to various uh, security profiles. Uh, there are mainly two features. Uh, one is uh, called a feature called uh, a feature uh, client policies. Uh, this is a framework to conform to various security profiles. Uh, second one is a conformance test execution environment. Uh, by this one, Keycloak can pass conformance tests. Um, continuously. Uh, this is a intro, uh, brief introduction of uh, uh, client policies. Uh, so, sorry, uh, this is a uh, 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 problems uh, to apply security policies uh, to pro uh, to clients. Um, the problems uh, uh, to solve uh, client policies. Uh, to apply security profiles to clients, uh, Keycloak uh, has to uh, recognize client security profile and uh, handle requests from uh, clients according to the client security profile. Uh, and th there are mainly three problems to do so. Uh, first problem is it is difficult uh, to follow new uh, security profiles timely. Um, modif modification to uh, code base of Keycloak is often required uh, to support new security profiles or, uh, or security profiles are uh, updated. Uh, usually, uh, modifications take time. Uh, first, we have to raise issue to community and we, we have to wait uh, pull request or we have to issue pull request. And then pull request is reviewed and uh, merged. And uh, we have to wait uh, the version of the uh, key clock where our, our modification is merged. Uh, it often uh, requires uh, time. Also, it is difficult to apply security profiles to multiple clients. Uh, there are often more than 40 configuration points uh, related to apply a security profile to a client. Uh, it is difficult to uh, configure multiple clients. Uh, if there are 100 clients, we have to configure 100 clients. Uh, third problem is we cannot apply uh, multiple security profile to a client. Uh, for, for configuration element of a client, only one setting can be configured in Keycloak. So multiple security profiles cannot be applied to a client. Uh, to uh, resolve, resolve uh, these problems, uh, we developed client policies. Uh, this figure shows the design principle of client policies. Uh, client policy is uh, com com composed of profile and policy. Uh, profile is a pro pluggable module uh, including process about uh, how to handle a security profile. And the policy is a setting of uh, conditions. Uh, when Keycloak uh, receives a request from client, 
uh, policy uh, dispatch request to profile uh, as configured in policy. Uh, if uh, client, uh, client is a puppy, uh, advanced client, uh, this profile, uh, this profile is called. Uh, in this profile module, uh, how to handle a request as specified in uh, security profile is uh, described. Uh, this is a uh, logic uh, described in uh, Java. Java. Uh, to add a, a new security profile, uh, profile can be added uh, without modifications of code of key clock, and the security profile can be applied to multiple client by only, mat only mapping configuration, uh, mapping this policy to client. Also, multiple security profiles can be applied to a, a client by properly setting condition in policy. And this uh, feature, client policy, policies was contributed to KingClock committee, and it can be used from KingClock 14. Also, uh, profiles for some security profiles uh, included in, in KeyClock dis distribution by default. In KeyClock 20, uh, profiles for Puppy Baseline and Puppy Advanced and Puppy Shiba uh, security profiles are included in KeyClock dis uh, distribution. And this, uh, this is a sc uh, screen of KeyClock administration console, and this uh, shows uh, uh, available um, profiles. Uh, in order to prove the conformance to security profile, uh, it is uh, effective to pass conformance tests by OpenID Foundation. Uh, however, uh, setting up the uh, uh, envi uh, testing environment and running tests in every version up of key clock is very, very, very hard work. So we developed conformance test uh, execution environment for key clock uh, using Docker containers. Uh, the Docker containers uh, have the, uh, like this uh, virtual network infrastructure. Uh, it has uh, a load balancer and API gateway and uh, key clock. Uh, we contributed to key clock project. Uh, it is available in this uh, repository of a key clock project. Uh, this is uh, uh, this the result of the um, conformance test. Uh, test is uh, available uh, at the at the repository. Um, in this set version of Keycrock, um, this is Keycrock version, and this is a uh, security profile. And also, uh, we supported uh, usual OpenID Connect conformance test. And there are a few conformance in old version. However, recent version, uh, KeyClock can pass a major conformance test now. And in uh, minor version app, um, that, um, uh, this uh, test uh, environment is used and the uh, result is updated uh, timely. Uh, this is a typical system configuration uh, to secure API by key clock in, in real system. Uh, we use uh, key clock uh, as an authorization server uh, of, for API. Uh, this is a public compliant authorization server. And uh, we use API gateway um, to check, to, check um, to verify uh, access token uh, required for puppy. Um, if there are a lot of APIs um, imp implementing um, uh, this uh, checking uh, logic in API server is, uh, 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 is difficult, so we, uh, we <coughs> implement the um, checking token feature in the API gateway. Okay, did, um, this is uh, that almost all, uh, finished. Uh, we are going to contribute to uh, 
um, Keycloak community for high level API security, uh, new security profiles, files are appearing, uh, such as Puppy 2.0. Uh, we are contributing um, Keycloak now. Uh, if you are interested, uh, contribution is very welcome. Um, please see the, this Puppy SIG uh, repository in Keycloak community. Uh, we have a te uh, teleconference uh, monthly. Uh, if you, you are uh, interested, uh, everybody can join. Also, uh, Keycloak uh, project is trying, trying to submit to CNCF as an incubation project. Um, if you have uh, advice for, uh, to success the uh, submission, uh, please tell us. Uh, that's all my presentation. Uh, thank you for attention. Do you have some question? If you have a question, please uh, come to your office. Uh, uh, we can go together. Thank you very much.